Don Quixote is a novel written by Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra. It is one of the most celebrated books of world literature and is considered the first modern novel. The novel parodies the genre of chivalric romance and tells the story of a Spanish nobleman who goes crazy and decides to go looking for adventure as a knight errant. The first part of the novel, published in early 1605, is entitled The Ingenious Hidalgo Don Quixote of La Mancha. At the beginning of the book, the nobleman dons an old suit of armor and renames himself Don Quixote of La Mancha. He gives his horse the name Rocinante and picks a peasant girl named Aldonza Lorenzo to be his lady love, christening her Dulcinea del Toboso. One morning, without being seen, Don Quixote sets out on his journey. He asks the owner of an inn, whom he mistakes for a nobleman, to make him a knight. As a joke, the man and other women who work at the inn hold a fake ceremony. Afterwards, Don Quixote sets off in search of adventure. On the way, he tries to help a servant being whipped by a farmer, but without realizing it, only makes the situation worse. Later, Don Quixote meets a group of merchants. He orders them to proclaim that Dulcinea is the most beautiful maiden, and as a result, Don Quixote is brutally beaten. Fortunately, one of Don Quixote's neighbors finds him and takes him home. Don Quixote's niece, housekeeper, priest, and barber are all at his house, and they blame the chivalric romances for Don Quixote's madness. The following day, the priest orders that many of Don Quixote's books be thrown into a fire, and they wall up the entrance to Don Quixote's library. A few days later, Don Quixote asks a poor farmer, Sancho Panza, to be his squire. In exchange, he promises to make Sancho governor of an isle. Sancho agrees, and they depart without anyone seeing them. During their travels, Don Quixote mistakes some windmills for giants. Ignoring his squire's warnings, Don Quixote attacks the windmills and then falls and breaks his lance. Later, Don Quixote encounters two friars followed by a carriage carrying a Biscayan lady. Don Quixote mistakenly believes that the friars have taken the lady prisoner. The narration cuts off just as Don Quixote is attacking one of the lady's squires. Shortly afterwards, the narrator discovers the rest of Don Quixote's story in a book written by the Arab historian Sire Hamete Beningeli. According to that book, the Biscayan lady's squire cut off part of Don Quixote's ear and broke his helmet, so Don Quixote tries to get a new one. Later, Don Quixote and Sancho Panza meet some goat herders, whom they accompany to the burial of Chrysostom. One of them tells the story of Chrysostom, a shepherd who died from his love for a woman named Marcella. Don Quixote is captivated by the story of Marcella and the many shepherds who declared their love for her. Afterwards, Imitating the lovers, the nobleman falls asleep, thinking about Dulcinea. The following day, Don Quixote and Sancho accompany the shepherds to Chrysostom's funeral. Marcella, who also attends the funeral, defends herself against the accusation that she is responsible for his death. She explains that she is not required to love someone because they love her, and that she never gave Chrysostom any hope that she would return his love. She also asserts that she was born free and that she chose to live in solitude. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza resume their journey, and a little while later, they stop to rest by a stream. There, Don Quixote's horse, Rocinante, tries to mate with some mares, and the carriers who are guarding them begin beating Rocinante. Don Quixote and Sancho then confront the carriers and are badly injured in the resulting fight. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza arrive at an inn run by Juan Pelomeque. 
There, they share a room with a muleteer, who is waiting for Meritornes, a female servant who works at the inn, to visit him at night. Don Quixote misunderstands the situation, and a big fight breaks out involving the woman and everyone else in the room. The next day, Don Quixote leaves and refuses to pay the price of his stay, since he considers it unbecoming of a knight-errant. Sancho Panza tries to impersonate him, but some men detain Sancho and toss him in a blanket as a joke. In addition, the innkeeper keeps the saddlebags of his donkey as payment for his stay. Subsequently, Don Quixote, with the goal of replacing his broken helmet, attacks a barber and takes away his basin, believing it to be Membrino's helmet, a legendary piece of armor. Shortly thereafter, Don Quixote frees some galley slaves who have been condemned to row in the royal galleys. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza seek refuge in Sierra Morena out of fear that the Holy Brotherhood will punish them for having freed the prisoners. There they meet Cardenio, a young man who lives in the mountains doing a penance and who occasionally has fits of madness. Cardenio explains that he was deeply in love with Lucinda and worked as the companion of Duke Ricardo's son, Ferdinand. Ferdinand had promised to marry a woman named Dorothea, but had then abandoned her. Later, Ferdinand met Lucinda and, betraying Cardenio, made a deal with her father to marry her. Disillusioned by love, Cardenio retreats to the mountains where he now lives in a semi-wild state. Inspired by Cardenio, Don Quixote decides to imitate several knights errant and do his own penance for love. He feigns insanity and behaves ridiculously. In addition, he asks his squire, Sancho, to give Dulcinea a letter in which he declares his love for her. On the way to El Toboso, Sancho Panza meets the priest and the barber and tells them about Don Quixote's condition. Then the priest and the barber devise a plan to take Don Quixote back to his village. When Sancho goes into the mountains to look for Don Quixote, the priest and the barber meet Cardenio and later Dorothea, the woman whom Fernando deceived and abandoned. Upon recognizing each other, Cardenio and Dorothea decide to work together to recover their respective partners. In addition, Dorothea offers to help the priest and the barber to bring Don Quixote back to his village. Cardenio, Dorothea, the priest, the barber, and Sancho Panza leave with the nobleman. On the way back, they all stay at Juan Pelomeque's inn. Shortly afterwards, Ferdinand and Lucinda arrive, reuniting with Dorothea and Cardenio. Lucinda asks Fernando to let her return to Cardenio, the person she considers her true husband, and Dorothea begs Ferdinand to keep his promise and take her as his wife. Ferdinand agrees, and the original couples are reunited. The next morning, the barber, whose basin Don Quixote had stolen, finds Sancho and demands that he return it. After an argument, the priest intervenes and secretly pays the barber for the basin, thus satisfying him. Subsequently, some members of the Holy Brotherhood arrive at the inn. They have orders to arrest Don Quixote for having freed the galley slaves, but the priest convinces them not to do so arguing that Don Quixote is insane. Later, the priest and the barber lead Don Quixote back to his house by locking him in a cage and making him believe that he is bewitched. After six days of travel, Don Quixote arrives in his village where he is received by his niece and housekeeper, who try to take care of him. At the end of the book, the narrator says that Don Quixote set out for adventure a third time and that the rest of his story was found in the ruins of a hermitage. The narrator says he hopes to publish it soon.